Where do you think we begin to heal this problem where large amounts of the Republican Party think the election was stolen, think everything is rigged against Trump? They're basically so disillusioned to a point where it's delusion. Let's hear how this Iowa man wants to solve the crisis the Republican Party is facing today. It's going to take him, to, I think, for Trump just to literally disappear. Uh, it's, a, it's a bad thing to say, but yeah, he's just got to disappear. And then they just got to say, okay, we need to come together because as a whole, this country is divided. Mm -hmm. And it's going to take some time, unfortunately, to heal. I know it's an unpopular opinion, but I think the Republicans need to take a good hard look at Trump. A lot of them don't believe this up, but I think he did do some wrong things. It seems rare nowadays to see a relatively sane Republican out in the wild like this, considering this is the crowd the party has catered their policy goals to. That'll be there forever, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, it's real. Oh, really? That is a real tattoo? Yes, sir. That is, that's cool. What about the rash of anti-Semitism that's been happening in America now? Uh, is that bothersome to you? Um, so, okay, one second. So for, before I answer that, anti-Semitism... It, what is, okay, so can I not, I don't want to answer any more questions. Even though this woman may not know what anti-Semitism means or is, that in itself is a huge indictment of the Republican voter base and the type of people the party attracts. We want the, Biden to hang for treason. Uh, well, okay, well, let's, we'll get to that now. All right, so what is it, uh, what is it, sir, that now we're rolling, what, what is it that, uh, that brings you out here today? Trump. We got to save our country. And what, what do we have to save it from? Democrats. All of them? Yep. He ain't a dictator. He loves the country and he ain't going to sell our country out either, so. Would you rather have four years of Trump as a dictator or four years no, of Biden? I'd rather have eight years of Trump. No, no, I'm saying would you rather have four years of Trump as a dictator or four years of Biden as a president? Uh, Trump as a dictator. He's and not going to sell us out. The cognitive dissonance is astonishing considering how Trump and Trump's children, even Jared Kushner, profited massively from his time as president. And even if, even if his followers did believe that Trump and his family exploited his position in office, there's only one reason, there's only one reason, people, why they wouldn't support him anymore. If he just walked up and shot me. If it was self-defense. Uh, Is there anything he could do to disqualify you from supporting him? I don't think so. What if he shot a man in Reno just to watch him die? Well, maybe. <laughs> okay. Is there anything that former President Trump could do to disqualify you from voting for him? Nope. What if he shot a man in Reno just to watch him die? Okay, well, as long as, if the killing was justified, then no. Is there anything that would disqualify Donald Trump um, from getting your vote, sir? Absolutely not. <laughs> nope. Not a thing? Nothing. I don't care if he grabs by the blankety blank blank. No, absolutely not. What if he shot a man in Reno just to watch him die, like the Johnny Cash song? Well, then he f***ing probably deserved it. If he didn't, run. Is there anything that Donald Trump could do that would disqualify him from your vote? Apart from killing somebody, no. That's my honest opinion. But if he did kill someone, you'd say, all right, I can't vote for this guy? Probably. I'm really conflicted about what's going to happen to the MAGA movement, depending on whether Trump loses or wins the presidential election. Hopefully, he's not even on the ballot. We saw Colorado already take him off the ballot for the 14th Amendment. Hopefully other states do the same. But let's say he is on the ballot for the majority of the states. And he wins. You already know that cult is going to go 10 times higher in terms of their intensity and passion. So that's really scary. But if he loses, on one hand, you can say, well, why we keep supporting this loser? You lost election to Biden. Now you lost to him again. So why are we still supporting? However, these people are not rational. The, the individuals who are voting for Trump, the ones who stand by MAGA and all of his ridiculous theories and ideas and racist beliefs and homophobic beliefs, all that, the policies, they might think, oh, nah. Yeah, so y'all really, really not going to let Trump in? Y'all really not going to let him win again? Nah, okay, we going, we going ham. The other aspect that I think is important to look at is whether the MAGA movement is going to be, become the mainstream thinking process for the Republican Party. Trump still has a lot of influence 
in the Republican Party, as we've seen with people like Marjorie Taylor Greene, you know, Mike Johnson, the Speaker of the House, and so many others. So just because Trump doesn't win doesn't mean the Republican Party uh, is not going to be infected even more with his belief system and the cult that he is um, engineered. But it's really important for us to institute a more left-leaning, a broader left-leaning coalition to combat the centrist Democrats and Republicans. Because being right in the middle ain't, ain't going to get the job done. And being nice and polite, that, that hasn't worked out for us. I'm really curious to see how it's all going to play out. But one thing we do know is the MAGA movement needs to, needs to die. It needs to die quickly. And that is why it's so important to build that left-leaning coalition to strike it down. For Rebel HQ, I'm Chris Williamson. We'll see you next time.